You'll not believe what's been happening this time round for the fucking your Uncle Buzzcox, the godfather of Cromlin and Allah. Read, where do I begin? The other week I was doing at the Mega Bowl with me last read and were on the dance mat machines. Me and who are purely the biggest fucking dance mat champions in the Northeast, easily, right? We were both on there, right? It was probably on like level 14 or something like that, right? And we were just totally feeling the rhythms and that and for that, kind of that. She doesn't take like as many drugs as me, but I was off my face on like fucking speed and stuff like that, right? So you can imagine I was just, my tongue was hanging down here and I was just kind of like, kind of, yeah, eh, right? This little fucking Raji looks how I like, right? And he's like, I can see him shifting about now, lad. And he went, I'm faster than you on that now, I know, you fuck. And I was just going, like, oh, you fuck, man, fuck off, you little lofty. He went, no, I am, I'm faster than you on that. And I jumped off the dance mat and I walked up and I went, you're faster than me on level 12 on that dance mat when I'm dancing next to me, lass. I didn't think so, like, he went, I am. I went, you're not, like, and he went, I am. And I went, oh, you fuck. He went, as well, I'm a bigger gangster than you. Well, that was fucking it, like. I just looked at him and I went, yeah, come here, I knew. And he walked straight over to us and I was like, well, he's a gangster, he'll come straight over. And I stood right up his face and I went, Yeah, do you think you're a bigger gangster than me? And he went, Aye. I went, Look at my face. Does this not look like the face of the biggest gangster you've ever seen in your life? He said, Nay. Well, that was it for me. Usually I would just get that kind of lad there, put his head on the floor, lock it down, and fucking stamp his eyes out of his skull. Not this one. I wanted to prove how much of a gangster I was to him. So I said to him, I went, Yeah. Do you know where Spook Hill is? And he went, aye. I used to go and do there and record with my father. I went, read. Well, why don't you get all your pals and meet me at Spook Hill tonight at midnight and I'll bet you any money there'll be fucking ructions because I know everybody. And he went, all right then, I'll do that. And I went, you fucking better, man. And he went, I will. So I fucks off. I guess Tasha was hanging about with this. I went, Tasha, man, fuck off. I've got to organise a fight. So she was like, yeah, man, all right, now, lad. And I went, all right, and he went, so I like fucked it up and that read. I got her mom to drop me off at my house because her mom comes and picks me up from the mega bowl. So I got her mom to drop me off at my house, right? Straight away on the phone to uh, air uh, tracker. Yeah, tracker, round up all the lads and all that. And he went, all right. And I went, read, just come round to my house with everyone that we not about with and we're going to fucking absolutely fucking kick off your like I've got a massive fight organised for fucking like this little daft gun who thinks he's a faster dancer than me. And he went, well, faster dancer than me, I didn't think so, like, Buzz Cox, I went, I and I, fuck, that's what I tell him, man. And he was going, wait, all right, then I'll get all the crew together and I'll be doing. So I'm sitting here waiting like that. He turns up, right, and I'm like, wait, where's all the lads? And he says, we, they're all uh, doing stuff. And I went, what? And he went, we, most of the lads didn't want to, like, come doing and get involved because they like, they're not how much of a big gangster I am and stuff like that. And I said, wait. Oh no, that sounds rough and that, but we're going to have to get someone to come down with for like, can't just go and me and you, it'll be too lethal, we'll need someone there to calm us down. He went, well I know someone, I went, who? He went, this lad, I know, I met him at like a pub, up, like up the road and all that. He's a good lad and all that, like, I went, alright, what's his name? He went, Holy. I went, Holy. He went, I right, Holy. I went, alright then. We went down and seek him, so I went his house. Chuck I was telling us he used to be a paper boy and all that and he used to be like a PR Raj and stuff when he was a bit younger. So I'd raise on his door like that and come to the door and I'd just stand and look at him like this. That's the gangster test. See if he can stare me out. I'm looking at him like that. And he fucking stares straight back at his like that and I go and read. I heard that you used to be a paper boy and he went, no. I went, what? That's what he said. He went, no, I used to be a postman. I went, oh, read. Well, the same thing, you know what I mean? I said, I need someone to come down to Spook Hill tonight to have a fucking fight with me and Trekker. We've got to, like, I'm now what his gang's going to be like, but it's probably going to be a few of them. Are you up for a look? He said, fucking right I am. He fucking come run over his house, right, with a fucking cricket stump, right, and fucking, like, a uh, fucking carrier bag with loads of glue in it and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, yeah, what the fuck? Does he not take speed, like? He went, no, he's a glue sniffer. And I went, oh, that's better, that's even better. They're going fucking fast as fuck, them. So us three fucking waking it down to this field and that, right? We get there, right, sitting in the boot, just waiting, holy sniffing glue, like that, right? Trekker's probably just like having a like wang and that, getting some cool spit out of his knob and all that. And I'm just sitting there cracking my knuckles, waiting for the fucking gangsters to turn up so I can prove to them that I'm a bigger gangster than them. What do I hear? Oh, oh! That's their gangster call. Fucking 30 of them come fucking trotting over the fucking hill. And I just sit there looking at them, mate, this guy. 
And I opened my eyes and I went, hello mate, nice way to turn up. Are you ready to get kicked the fuck? And he went, you must be joking. I went, you got me pals. They're probably the most lethal gangsters in Newcastle. That's Holy, he used to be a paper boy and he's a glue sniffer. That's Trekker, I trained him to be a boxer and he still hasn't got like proper cum coming out of him yet. He's still got teddy juice. And they just ran like this to end. Read? And I went, let the fucking fight begin. I uh, jumps up, flies up like that over two of them and just went like that. Yeah man! <laughs> Smash the heads off the floor. The one guy, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Holy just jumps up like that and got his quickest stomach and starts going like that. Fucking slicing their fucking arms off and all sorts, man. They were going like this, going, Well, yeah, I don't know what's going on. And I was going, Holy, you are, you know, go on, fucking slicing, man. And he's going, Yeah, no, well, cheers, mate. And he's going, Shh. Well, he was doing that, by the way, he was actually sniffing glue at the same time, which I thought was quite fucking. That's good, that, like, if you can sniff glue and execute people at the same time, that means you're a pure gangster. What do I do? Look over at Trekker. Trekker fucking stands up like that. Fucking level 13 of them run. Trekker just goes like this. Whoa, come on, you little daft cunts. He just starts going, yeah, 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 yeah. One, two, mixy crew, have you one of it, have you? Start MC while he's punching them. <laughs> fucking smacking them all over. That's a fucking guy. Where are you on? <laughs> fucking getting flown back in all sorts. I was just looking at him going, yeah, I'm pure proud of him. Like, I've taught him to be that uh, kind of Raji. He can MC and knock people out at the same time. That's the best MC you'll get, like, that's better than anyone doing the monkey. You don't see them doing the monkey day and that MC again and actually smacking people and knocking them out at the same time. That's good, like. So he's saying that and I'm fucking purely just off my face on speed, just fucking smashing people's faces all over. Hold his own glue, fucking slicing people up with cricket stumps. By the end of it, they're all on the floor, purely pissed themselves, shit themselves, crying their eyes, who'd gone, yeah, I'll leave us alone. So I said to them, Reet lads, they've had enough. I went down to the one, I'll grab his face away, I went. Who's the biggest gangster in Newcastle new? And he went, you all, I went, cheers pal, smack, punched his two front teeth out, picked them up off the floor, took them in my pocket street, fucked off, doing to the aim, um, the Chinese or something like that, we got some food and stuff, and we were sat on the, the, the wall outside of there, and we were sitting there, and I went to the two, like, the two lads who I just had our length fights with, and that, Trekker, me mate, who I fucking respected for a long time, and this new lad, Holy, who was blatantly, I must say, one of the toughest gangsters I've had a fight with for a long time. I went large, cheers for tonight. You proved to everyone that I'm one of the number one gangsters. He has something to remember is, remember that I am the number one gangster and we are a proper gangster team together and I only handed them that other little gangsters front two teeth to them and they went with both of them went. We are not going to get sentimental over this like Buzzcocks but that is purely the sign of a proper leader who's a proper gangster leader and I went I on that, on that is. Well, I just have to, you know, that's what I'm like, that's what I've been raised like and stuff like that. So, uh, that night we fucked off home and that, and that was pretty much it. So, I proved to everyone that I'm blatantly one of the biggest gangsters. And I proved that little daft gun I can dance faster, faster than them.